my lane changes. I'm hoping that goes away. I tried the, the reset on the scroll wheels and stuff. Um, and I don't know, that is kind of weird, but I figure I can look for some of the differences I'm noticing between hardware 2.5 and hardware 3. One complaint I've heard from people is the backup camera looks worse. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Totally ruined, just kidding. Uh, it's covered in dirt. I should have wiped it off. But um, from this, I'm kind of used to this view, to be honest. Um, it looks kind of the same to me. Um, they were saying the frame rate was bad on it, but I don't know, that looks fine. I'll wipe it off and we'll check it out in a bit. Uh, I want to park one more time and see if I can turn my confirmations back off. But as far as detecting uh, the stoplights and the stop signs and things, it's been really exciting. Uh, it's working really, really well. It picks up so far pretty much every fire hydrant as a cone. Um, coming up to the stop sign here, you'll see it already it's detecting that trash can, already detects the stop sign. Um, and then these blinking lights I find take a second, but now you, it's kind of blinking on the screen. But you can see that it did detect it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like blinking in and out. One other um, thing I've noticed that's been way improved is the cars in the adjacent lane here on hardware 2.5. Uh, they would get detected, I don't know, most of the time, maybe 70% of the time, and they'd kind of blink in and out, and there'd be plenty of cars that would just drive by and never get detected. But now with the full self-driving computer, it is detecting those uh, cars in the opposite lane like perfectly and very smoothly. So I haven't heard anybody talk about that. I don't know if everyone's kind of like, oh, duh, we already knew that. But that was a surprise to me. I didn't think that would be changing. So I'm just gonna pull off to the side and put the car in park here really quick um, and show you. If we go into autopilot, customize. Yeah, I cannot turn these off. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I should have checked with them before I left, but I figured that would clear itself up. Um, so we'll see. I, like I said, I tried a scroll wheel reset and that, that didn't seem to fix anything. Okay, so first experience of uh, autopilot on the highway. So that's looking, oh, confirm. Yeah, I have to confirm, that's so annoying. But okay, that's fine, we can do that. <laughs> okay, it's gonna go all the way over. Uh, whatever, that's good enough for me. I am interested if it's gonna get out of the passing lane after we pass this truck though. That's been my number one complaint. I will say all of my settings um, were still here. All of my driver profiles were are still up there. Um, so nothing changed there. All my pre-saves were there. Uh, my phone was still connected. I've heard that some people lose everything. All my navigation, my homework, everything was still there. So I didn't have to deal with uh, anything getting deleted. There it is. Change out of the passing lane. All fixed. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Instantly. And that's how it was before that bug was introduced. So hardware 2.5 still has that bug. And uh, hardware 3 does not. So I'm excited for that upgrade. I hope they fix it though. There's plenty of people uh, on hardware 2.5 that have enhanced autopilot. You know, they don't have full self-driving. They're not getting this hardware upgrade and they're going to be stuck with that bug. And then just to show you one more time, confirm lane change out of passing lane. I've seen that several times now and in the Thanksgiving update, it was Thanksgiving day, I went out and I noticed within minutes that that wasn't happening. And so now um, it's happened, so since Thanksgiving, it's happened twice, uh, which is even more strange that it's possible for it to happen, it just never does. And now on this drive, uh, I don't know, I've been on the highway, let's say 15 miles or something, I, I don't really know. I've seen that message <laughs> like five or six times, you know, whereas in the past three months, uh, I've seen it twice. So that was definitely broken. I know there was a lot of arguments, but I think this kind of puts it to rest. Hardware 2.5 won't get out of the passing lane and hardware three will, that's, that's it. Okay, so another improvement I'm noticing, let's see if we see it with this semi, the moving over feature, yeah, I feel it moving over, is a lot more confident and uh, assertive. And then we pass the semi and boom, it moves back. I mean, you can even see the wheel. Um, you know, it, it's hard to be sure about any of these things because maybe it's just like right now the conditions are really nice and the road's really nice for it to happen. But I am definitely feeling for sure that the moving over feature on the new hardware is better. So with hardware 2.5, most of the time it would work really well, but I'd also get a lot of these times where it either didn't do anything or it would like kind of move over, but then kind of not and do this weird stuff. And I couldn't even tell it was doing it. Now with uh, this upgrade, I'm finding that it's like just so obvious that it's happening and obvious that it's moving back. Another thing I'm not seeing at all is ping-ponging in the lanes. Uh, now to be fair, I didn't really notice this before. 
there were some times when it would happen um, going around a bend or whatever, um, but it wasn't even every time. It definitely wasn't uh, repeatable or reliable. It's just like very rarely my car would kind of do this. Um, and I haven't noticed that at all yet. All right, so we are exiting the highway here. And so we can start to see some of the new, I wanna go this way, um, visualizations that the car has. You do have to enable these in the settings under autopilot. If you look here, um, full self-driving visualizations. And you can see the stoplights right there. All three are displayed. Uh, we also have the arrow that's on the ground there. I mean, the stuff is really cool. I've been <laughs> looking at these, kind of loving it. So the car drives over the arrow and the arrow is still there. So the car kind of remembers, the Tesla remembers that this arrow is here and keeps the graphic there, even though cars are kind of getting in the way of it. And I've noticed that sometimes it sees stop signs like before I do, like a stop sign on the right, there will be a car kind of in my way. So I can't see that stop sign, but it's on the display. And so now you can see this is green. I think we can, oh yeah, let's zoom in here. So uh, yeah, this is green and those two are red. So it's showing and now they're all green and that change was pretty instant. I was more looking at the screen, but I saw on the screen that it changed. There's the other arrow. Um, and then I looked up and I saw that it was actually green in front of me. So it's actually helping me um, to drive, uh, at least while I'm looking at the screen. And you, you could see there for a second, yep, it's getting the arrows on the other side that are pointing the other direction. That's really good. And sees those green lights there. Oh, and it sees yellow. Very cool. Wow, that is just great. So it seems to be seeing that stuff quickly. And it sees all of these over here. It's Oh, it's trying to, wow, okay. So it's trying to decide to display those as cones or as little, I don't know, sticks, bullards, I think some people call them. I don't even know what to call them. But if we go back here, look at that. You can see that it's still seeing those um, even behind us. This is our car right here. And those are still displayed back there. And I don't know if that's in the memory or it's still seeing those with uh, the side camera, that's the side repeater that points back that way. Um, but very, very cool. Okay, so I just plugged into the supercharger and now you can see all of this is available again. So I guess I had to do a little bit of driving. I had no messages, no indication um, that it had come back or that it was uh, calibrating or whatever was happening. It just kind of worked out that way. Okay, so I did not expect this, um, but I'm seeing that visualizations of the cars around me are way better, way smoother. Now, before I tell you what I'm seeing, I'm not saying hardware 2.5 never did any of this. I'm saying that hardware 3 is doing it much better. So you can see, I mean, look at that. It sees uh, this car back here and two back there to my left. That car is really far back. Let me pull up that. I mean, you can't even see the second car that my car is seeing way back there. And it is tracking really far back and harming sometimes another car behind that. So looking more at some of the side streets, you can see up here there are two stop signs, one on each side, and even from way back here, the car detected both of those. So really impressive. It's been seeing them, you know, for a minute already. Um, and it's cool because, you know, you don't see stop signs on both sides very often. Um, so the car is obviously using the cameras to see, okay, there's stop signs here. It's not predetermined map data. And wow, look at that. It's even picking up this third stop sign over there. Um, as we get closer, yeah, it's kind of flashing in and out. It's not sure what to think about that. So on this road, hopefully we'll get some cars coming in the opposite direction. And uh, you can see on the screen where oh, it's getting cones from the uh, reflective barriers. And there, it picks that car up from a pretty good distance and it comes all the way past me. I've been noticing um, lately on hardware 2.5 that it wasn't really picking up, you know, this uh, opposing traffic. See, there it is again, very good. Um, it would kind of pick them up at the last second or sometimes they'd be blinking or sometimes it would completely ignore them. Now it's uh, seeing the cars really well, really accurately and really smooth. Here's one more coming up and there it is. One thing I do notice that's similar to hardware uh, 2.5 is the car behind you, at least for me, is never detected all that well. Um, and my camera is very clean. I cleaned it before this drive. You can see the other one going across. Um, I cleaned my camera before this drive and you can see this truck behind us is kind of blinking in and out of existence behind me. And I almost feel like it's so far away. I almost feel like it's detecting the car behind the truck. Um, but yeah, that hasn't changed. It was the same as uh, hardware 2.5 for me. Even the dirt road stop sign is there and it's trying to make a line. That's so funny. Yeah, there's no line here. There's no line for you. Oh, it keeps moving it. Oh, I wonder if it sees those things over there. Let's go look. 
No, it doesn't. Interesting. And then of course we have the infamous garbage cans. Um, the garbage can tracking works pretty well. The only thing I'm finding it gets wrong sometimes is it counts like that. Mailboxes as garbage cans. Um, yeah, it's doing it left and right on this road. And you know, no big deal. I'm not sure why they even included that. It just seems so random, you know, on the things, like they could have included this pass with care sign. Um, but they don't have that, but they have garbage cans. And I feel like it's, you can see it's just picking them up all over the place. Um, I feel like it's almost, oh, that's a deer. We need to slow down for that. Um, I feel like it's almost kind of like a weird kind of flex. They're just like, look what we can do. You all right? Yeah, I hit that deer. Are you, are you good? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that sucks. That's <laughs> one of the bad parts of living out here is freaking deer everywhere. But, um, oh yeah, there's another garbage can and cones. So anyway, uh, that's, that's hardware three. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I look forward to talking to you guys about this. It's been really exciting, really enjoying hardware three, and you will see my Tesla in the next video.